You are very welcome to this demonstration of the Net Bible Online for Powellhurst Men's Bible Study. Open your browser and navigate to netbible.org. Upon arrival at the netbible.org page, we are met with these two window panes. On the left side, we have the Net Bible version 2 text, and on the right side, notes that help explain that text. Net Bible comes with some 60,000 scholarly notes. In the left pane, we can click on the reference button and choose, in this case, the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, which brings us to Hebrews chapter 1. At this point, we have several options. Besides the Net Bible, you can view any one of seven English translations. You can set bookmarks to find your way back to various passages or adjust the text size. If you wish, you may listen to the current passage read in a pleasant audio voice or share a link through social media. If you would like, you can follow a daily reading plan, adjusting by date. We click on daily again to go back to our main reading page. In the right pane, we see notes that explain the current passage. You can access the notes by clicking on note numbers in the left pane, or you can scroll through the notes in the right pane. You also have the option to view a currently selected verse in a parallel version, any one of the seven English versions currently available, or you can choose to see all seven versions in parallel at the same time. For you Greek buffs, you can see the, uh, the Greek text in the right pane. You can pass your mouse over any word in the Greek text, and down at the bottom of the pane, see a morphological and grammatical explanation with a translation gloss. You also have access to a library of maps, any names that occur in the passage, journal articles, and various other articles currently available online to help you read and study more deeply. And of course, you can do a search of the entire Bible, of the Bible.org site, of various notes that are currently available, as well as journal articles. Coming back to the notes, we have three sets of notes available to us. Here we have the Net Bible notes. In the middle, notes prepared by Professor Constable of Dallas Seminary, and your own notes. In order to post your own notes, click on any word in the left pane and choose Add Note. Give the note a title, and then type in your own observation, and save it. Then whenever you come back to your own notes, there they are for your perusal. Let's try some of these features with an actual example. As I read the first two verses of this passage, after God spoke long ago in various portions and in various ways to our ancestors through the prophets, in these last days he has spoken to us in a son whom he has appointed heir of all things, and through whom he created the world. First I'm going to click in verse 2, then on highlight. I notice that this translation reads, has spoken to us in a son. Well, I'm interested in learning more about this phrase, a son. So, I click on note 5, and in the right pane, I can read about this son. Based upon the Greek text, the Greek puts an emphasis on the quality of God's final revelation 
etc. If I would like to see how this is rendered in other passages, I click on Parallel, and here I find the other translations. NIV, NASB, ESV, and so forth, all translate His Son. Well, we shall return to that. If I want to see what this is like in the Greek, I can come down here, run my mouse over the Greek words, until I come to the word son, and the word before it, in, and the word son itself. And indeed, the Greek says, in son. There is no possessive pronoun, his son. If I want to study further, I can go to the library and find a number of scholarly articles that are available for our reading. Or I can do a word study. This time, let's go back to the Greek. If I double left click on the term for sun, I now have an option to do a search or a word study. If I click on word study, I find a lengthy article discussing the Greek term used for sun in its various meanings and contexts. If I'm ready to write my own note, I will return to notes here, click again on the term sun, and choose add note. Here I will give my note a brief title such as a sun, and then my observation. There were many sons of God in the Hebrew Bible. This is what many prefer to call the Old Testament or the First Testament. But this son is quite unique, different from all other sons of God, and click on Save. Now that note will be available to me anytime I return to the notes and click on My Notes. Well, that's a brief introduction. These tools are able to do a lot more. I myself will be using this online tool in my own preparations for our Thursday morning Powellhurst Men's Bible Study.